Hey guys, Andrew here, and I'm answering another one of my YouTube questions, so let's get started. Okay, so the question is, how do you get your three wood off the ground uh, so consistently? And um, this is a question that I had to kind of think about for a while. And um, I really couldn't think of an answer, to be honest with you. Um, it, it's really just in built practice. And I remember when I was younger, three was probably the toughest club for me to hit off the ground. I'd always be hitting cuts. Um, and I don't know, it was just one club that looked visually intimidating to me and also just was extremely tough to hit. I don't know why, uh, just one of my problems. But um, today I'll be going over the basics with you guys on how to hit your food off the ground. So firstly, I'll start off with ball position. Um, with the ball position, you're, one, you're gonna wanna get it uh, just off uh, your heel on your front foot. And that's for uh, the basics. If you wanna get more advanced, you can try to practice little, little things. Like being a little bit further up, you wanna hit like a high cut, or a little bit further back, you wanna hit a low draw. But those are all things that you can practice with and experiment with yourselves. I'm not gonna sit on a camera for 45 minutes and try to explain all this stuff to you. So just the basics. Off your uh, heel, uh, your left heel if you're right-handed, your right heel if you're uh, left-handed. And um, after that, you're just gonna want to uh, try to think about, not, not try to think about hitting it fat or thin. I just want you guys to think about trying to just clip it um, off the ground, but not swing up on it. I want you to swing down on it, but still kind of pick it off the ground. So you don't want to be taking massive divots, but you don't want to be uh, picking it clean off the ground uh, with a positive attack angle, you want to be hitting down on a little bit still. Well, um, if you guys are familiar with track man numbers, you should be getting around a two, negative two to negative three attack angle. With a three wood, that's pretty ideal. And then with a draw, that's gonna really um, benefit you guys. So, um, you don't want to be hitting up on it, because then that res could result in you guys um, hitting before the ball, and that's a drop kick. If you don't know what a drop kick is, a drop kick is one the club makes contact with the ground before it makes contact with the ball, resulting in the club and the toe of the club turning over when it makes contact with the, with the ground, resulting in a draw and a shot that starts off and draws. Starts off left and draws, so um, that's why you might miss a couple shots left, and then I'll try to diagnose why you're missing it to the right. Um, you might be missing it to the right because you're trying to swing so hard that your lower body is going so fast, your um, body can't catch up, and then the club ends up in contact like with the, like this with the ball, I can't talk today, and then ends up going right. And I uh, guess the perfect swing with uh, your fruit off the ground is just keep the club in neutral. Uh, ball off your left heel, if you're left righty, off your left heel if you're uh, or off your right heel if you're uh, lefty, and then just picture like you got a, a seven iron in your hand, and then just swing with your seven iron. So that one I made sure that I came, I swung down on it in order to create some backspin, but um, not too much so that it's ballooning up and to the right, because if you do swing too far down, you're gonna end up coming over the top. That's gonna result in the club face staying open, and then more loft up high, and then start slicing to the right. So I'm gonna hit one more here. Also another huge tip that I can give you guys is press your hands forward just a little bit. Uh, getting that forward press with your hands uh, really helps you compress the ball properly, um, makes the ball go a little bit further, but uh, also prevents you from, well I wouldn't say prevents you, but uh, kind of minimizes your percentage of hitting the ball fat or thin, and that's kind of tough to hit it fat with a three wood, but um, thin uh, especially because you don't want to be flipping your wrist at the, at the ball, that's going to result in whole whack load of problems. So um, I'm trying to think about other tips and give you guys, that's pretty much it for now. If you want, you can start practicing the draw with you. Uh, have your stance a little bit closed, so um, you want to be pointing a little bit to the right of your target, and then you want to be swinging from inside to out. So uh, you want to kind of be swinging out to your target. You don't want to be coming in and finishing to the left of your target, either out to the right of your target or kind of right at your target. Okay, that's the end of the video guys. Um, these are my best tips I can give you for hitting your fruit off the ground. Um, this is what I just practiced every single day when I was struggling. 
Um, and yeah, these are probably the best tips uh, I could give you and probably anybody else could give you. Because um, experimenting and kind of getting to know people off of the comment section on YouTube is really tough. You don't know how um, big they are, how tall they are, how fast their club head speed is. You don't really know what the problem is other than then, uh, what their question is. So I'm trying to answer the question as best as you can. And I'll uh, hit one more before I leave you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like below if this did help you at all. And uh, have a good day. Bye.